Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna do this recipe step by step in the order that I will do it in my own home for that way you don't have to be confused. Um, I already have here my garlic and I have a couple of cloves as you can see just you know like I said I eyeball everything so you have to look at exactly how I do everything for that way you could get it um I don't you know I don't measure I I do what I gotta do in the kitchen so I have here my garlic cloves here and I use this fresh peeled garlic and as you can see when sometime when you buy it like that it comes like this it has that little, I, I don't know what it's really cool, <laughs> you know, and anyway, so this is what you want to do. That way it don't look, you know, I, I just take it out. I don't know about you, but I do. And I take it out. See, it just don't look right. And now it's nicely fresh. And I am going to put these garlic cloves in the oven for it could be nice roasted garlic why am i doing that because i am going to make garlic bread and it's nothing better than nice roasted garlic smothered in that nice bread you're gonna see how i'm gonna hook it up and i got aluminum foil and this it's gonna be a you know kind of long tutorial because I am gonna show you everything that I'm making in this meal so you I suggest you watch this video I suggest you watch this video on a day that you don't have nothing to do and you could watch it calmly this is not something that maybe you're looking for to do today and you're trying to find something quick on YouTube and you're gonna be able to learn and watch I go into details with my tutorials everybody knows that so watch it when you can but i will guarantee you you're gonna love this recipe i got extra virgin olive oil i am gonna put some on you know there you go and i'm gonna also add some salt there you go when it comes out of the oven, it's going to be nice and soft and I'm going to like, you know, like smash it up like a mashed potato. Oh, it's going to be so good with nice bread on the, on like a nice butter on the bread. You're going to see anyway. And we're going to make like a little pouch. I hope you're able to see it. And I'm going to do it like this. And do like a little pouch. It's okay if you want to leave it just a little, little open just for a little heat could go in. Something like this. And I already got my oven preheated um, um, at 350. Yeah, 350 I got it preheated. And I'm going to leave it there for like maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to keep an eye on it. So it depends how your oven works. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'll give you like a precise time how long I left mine. So I'm going to put this in the oven and then we're going to go to the next step. So I got my plate there, even though this is a cutting board, I know it sounds weird, but I really want to use this cutting board more for like, um, just for a nice background for my video. So I really don't really want to cut meat, maybe vegetables, I don't mind, but no meat. So I have my plate here. And I have here some chicken thighs. Wait, let me make sure. Yep, chicken thighs right here. I thawed it out. It's nice and defrost. And I have here a couple of pieces, which is, let me see how much I got. Two, four, six, eight. I got eight. All right. So I am going to wash my hands real quick. And I'm just going to show you one example of how you want to cut these for your spaghetti and chicken. Give me a minute. Make sure you always wash your hands every time you deal with meat. And after you finish dealing with meat, you must clean your hands. All right. And... I didn't get to clean the meat yet, so once I finish cutting it into the pieces that I want, then I'll clean the meat. 
which I will show you as well. So I'm just gonna do, like I said, one meat, one, one chicken thigh, and I'll come back again, all right? So first you wanna remove all the skin. Well, that's how I'm gonna do mine. Some people, when they do this recipe, they do um, put it there, like with, with they cut the, the thighs into pieces and they put the whole thing in there. I don't like it like that because I'm trying to enjoy my spaghetti, you know? I don't want to deal with no meat, no, no bones, none of that. Just let me get it straight, you know? I don't got time to be eating my spaghetti slow because there's bones in between. So this is how it is. And of course you want to clean it out a little bit. Alright. And actually, I'm just going to go and just cut it into pieces where I'm removing this bone. So that's what I'm going to do. Because all I want is meat. I don't want no bone in my spaghetti. And remove all the bone. And don't throw away these bones. I know I'm not. <laughs> I will be making a nice chicken stock with that. Not today, maybe. I'm probably going to just put it in the freezer and make it another day. Because I want to hurry up with this recipe today. Since there's a couple of things I got to do in this video. And Anyway, listen. I'll clean it up in a minute. This is the meat. This is the bone. Alright? Don't throw this away. Make a chicken stock. Put that aside. And I'm just going to still do like maybe cut off a little bit of this fat. A little bit of the fat here, but it's going to be straight meat. Um, the sizes that I'll probably do for this video, I'll probably cut them a little smaller. Let's see. Like maybe these sizes for my spaghetti. I know nobody likes to see a lot of raw meat on videos, but you got to do what you got to do. Like these kind of sizes. I mean, if you have to happen to have small ones like this, hey, keep that. Why not? And I'll probably cut this one in half too. So you're gonna get a couple of uh, a couple of you know bite-sized pieces for each side you're gonna do. So um, I'm gonna stop recording from here, and I am going to do the rest of the meat, and we'll be back. Okay, so I have my chicken into little pieces, as you can see. And I just want to show you this very quickly. Hold on. I saved all the bones and the skin into two Ziploc bags. If I had a bigger bag, I would have just put it in one bag. But I'm going to freeze that up. But I'm going to do a chicken stock tomorrow, not today, because I got other things to do. So don't throw that away. Okay, so um, we're going to season up the meat first. And I have here some white vinegar. Adobo. I got here oregano, dried oregano. I got here onion powder. I got here a pack of gar um not garlic um sazon goya, and I want you to take a look at this, okay? And I'm gonna use black pepper. Now, Puerto Ricans or like a lot of Latin people, we use goya. This is like our seasonings to most of our food. But if you do not want to add that, just add everything else except that. And just combine the adobo with the salt. Okay? With salt, I mean. So you don't have to necessarily add the adobo. But I am going to because I want this to be... I want this to be as Puerto Rican as, as I want it to be today. So I am going to add that. So first, I want to add the vinegar. And I'm going to put my finger in the middle, and that's how I do it. Yeah, like about, like about like that, that you just saw. <laughs> and I got here some adobo, and I'm just going to, real quick, I don't want to add too much. Uh, you know, if I feel like it needs a little bit of salt or a little bit of something later on while it's cooking, then I'll add. It's just to season it up a little bit. I got here um, onion powder, so I'm going to add that. I like onion powder. I always say that every time I do a video. That's like my favorite spice. And I got here sazon. 
sazon is gonna make it like it's gonna add a beautiful color to this dish that nice beautiful orange color so that's why I'm adding it I usually don't really cook a lot with sazon but I'm gonna do a sole today I got here black pepper and I have oregano which I like to put it in my palms and then like to break to break it down a little bit and that's about that much and I like to just break it down a little bit with my hands so it can be nice and fine and I'm gonna mix this up behind the camera like like not on camera and then I'm gonna have a pan and I'll show you what to do with it next so before we do the chicken I want to make sure that I start boiling my noodles or spaghetti and I have these espaguetti in Spanish it's called espaghetti con pollo that's what I'm making today spaghetti with chicken and you could use any brand it doesn't have to be named brand you can buy the cheapest pasta spaghetti pasta and you're good to go now I'm debating if I should use only half of this if this is a pretty you know a pretty big bag or if I should just do half I'm gonna do half and since I'm gonna do half I don't know if I should do half just that I know how my kids are and not only that, I'm sending some food to a friend of mine. I'll probably end up doing the whole bag. I ended up putting salt on the water, so I am gonna, and I cut it in half. Because my pot is small. Mm, I'll probably do half. Half and half. So I'll probably cut some in half and leave some whole. I know it's, it's retarded, I know. <laughs> it totally behind me. Right now, I'm just like here thinking, should I do the whole thing? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna just do half. Yeah, I'm gonna just do half. Cause I'm only gonna eat a little bit. And my kids probably, you know, they're gonna eat some, but this is not a kid meal, basically. So I'm gonna do half, yeah. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more water. So I did leave some, okay? Just in case they're figuring out. I'm gonna add a little bit more water just to make sure everything boils. I got here one. I'll put that on high as well. My house smells good just alone with the garlic. I could smell the garlic being cooked in that oven. I like to add a lot of water, make sure that. Okay, so next we're gonna do the meat, all right? Okay, so I got a pot here. If you wanna use like a pan for this, like for just this step, you can. I'm gonna do it in a pot because sometimes I could go a little heavy with sauces and stuff like that. I don't want it to spill, so that's why to be cautious, I'm gonna use this. And first, I got it on medium low, and I'm gonna add extra virgin olive oil, about like two to three spoons. Put that aside. Are you watching the movie? Yes. Oh, okay, it's just quiet. <laughs> and you wanna add from sofrito now if you don't know what sofrito is I will link it below and you'll see what it is it, it makes your food taste so good you really gotta do sofrito homemade sofrito is the best you know it's okay if you wanna buy the ones in the store go ahead but I, I, I you know what it's been years and I'm telling you years and I have never bought one in a in a in a store I make my own I make it from scratch and not only that when you make it your own you can make so much for like a month or a month and a half frozen in the freezer so your best to, your best bet is to make your own so the link is below if you want to check it out so 
Let's put this here. Let's hope it's not too high. Oh, great, it's not. I'm gonna add like three spoons because I love sofrito. Mmm, I just made sofrito too. I have so much in my freezer. I give those away like nothing. All right, let me put it a little high. Okay, got my spoon here. Put it a little high if I can start sizzling. Get this popping. All right. So so far, extra virgin olive oil starting to sizzle, and um, extra virgin olive oil about like three tablespoons or two or whatever. And I got here three spoons of sofrito, and I'm gonna start adding my chicken. Ain't no particular order, just dump it in there. Don't worry about it. Let me start putting it a little higher because it starts. Mmm, it smells so good. That's so frito. Oh my god. Ain't nothing like so frito frying in your house. Mm mm. You can start putting it a little high now because the meat kind of slows up the heat when you start adding it in there. And I like to add the little juice that was in there as well from the pot. And then you want to add um, diced. Oh, I'm sorry because my camera's not the best. So I got to go back for you to see it. Diced tomatoes. If you do got like let's say fresh tomatoes in your house, like by all means, put it in there. Cut it up and put it in there. I'll probably add some cherry tomatoes later on. I don't know. Let's see how everything goes. Because I got cherry tomatoes. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Because I don't want to add too much stuff, you know. And I might do a nice salad too, which I'm going to show you. And I don't want to probably add too much tomato here, too much tomato there. So let's see. Oh man, I wish it was in my house right now. <laughs> you have to smell my house. <laughs> it smells so good. And I'm using one spoon, two spoons. Ha, let's make it three. <laughs> three spoons of that. And when I say spoon, I'm using a tablespoon, by the way, okay? So. Put that aside and <clears throat> this is three cloves of garlic that I mashed up and I'm gonna show you how I do mine when I mash them up because I'm supposed to do platanos with this in this video and you're gonna see how I do my platanos and how I mash my garlic so you can get a better idea you're like why is it a plastic I'll show you <laughs> And I'm gonna add everything because we love garlic. By the way, this is gonna this is gonna have a lot of garlic. We're gonna have garlic bread, garlic on top of the platanos, garlic on the spaghettis. So don't be going and kissing everybody when you eat this meal. And there. Now let's see how everything is going. Mix that up. Mm. I cannot wait till this is done. You have no idea. I haven't had spaghetti and chicken in so long. My son is the one that told me to make it. My older son. He always makes me reminisce of, of, of dishes that I, he hasn't ate in months. <laughs> Mom, you haven't made that in a while. That's why I decided to make it. So, I'm going to let this cook a little bit. I'm going to show you how it's coming along. In the meantime, I'm going to be cutting some veggies, and I'm going to show you that next. Okay, so I have put it a little low while I was doing the, um, cutting the vegetables, because, you know, I don't want that juice to just evaporate. I want that beautiful juice in there. And the chicken is basically done. And I must say, my house smells 
so divine right about now. I'm telling you, make this recipe. All right, and look at all that. Take a good look at that. That is nothing but pure flavor in there. So I am going to put it now a little high. You know, I just didn't want to waste none of the juice that was in there. So I have here more stuff to add. Um, you want to make sure that you maybe cook this for like a good like 10-15 minutes, you know, before you add this because once you add this, you're going to cook it for maybe another 5 minutes and it's basically done. So I have here some cilantro and I add about 4 springs. Let me show it to you quick. one of these okay I use four and I'm not gonna lie I only cut the tip you know and I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna add some of all of this too okay so some people won't they'll just add the little leaves but I'm gonna add it that way and I like I said four um, strings or whatever of cilantro half an onion of red um red onions half yeah half of red onion I sliced it but cut it the way you cut your onion regularly um, I also have here some sliced um, red pepper and green pepper if you want to cut them into cubes that's fine I would prefer to have it like this like the way I have it here you know for it could be like a better presentation but you cut it whichever way you want so I am going to start adding this and I'm just going to add it all up in there. Put that in there. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to even mention that I did take out my garlic. It's cooling down. I forgot to show it to you because I'm just like mingling everything together. I'm watching the pasta. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get ready to do the platanos I'm, and the salad. It's like, this is, this is going to be a little long, but I'm going to show you a couple things in one video, like a complete dish. So you're, you're actually winning if you really look at it. I also have here salad olives, olive salad, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to add about a spoon and a half. Yeah. And I don't know if you noticed, but I love olives with a lot of my food. I don't know. Mm. I could eat it like that. Like in a jar, I swear to God. <laughs> okay, let me stop picking on the food. I got here, excuse me, <laughs> I got here some um, pasta sauce, um, you could use any which any one that you want, this one says traditional sweet basil, which I'm not going to lie, basil with pasta, great combination, it's really good, so I'm glad that I was able to find this in my pantry, I probably got it on the sale. So this is what I'm using, but use any one you want because I have also used cheap ones. <laughs> and let me tell you something, as long as you know how to hook up your food, it's, it's okay, you know? And I'm going to add the whole thing. Since I'm not going to lie, I am making a lot of noodles. And if there's an extra, extra, extra sauce, I'll still make more because I got other noodles there. So I'm going to also add just a little bit of water to this. Just a little, like, like almost half, but not, not half, you know? Shake it up. And throw it in there. And last, I'm going to add a whole can of tomato sauce from Goya. Okay? And that's what I'm going to add to this. 
I'm not gonna taste it for flavor now because I'm gonna let this like cook for like another five to seven minutes make sure all the flavors marry and all that other stuff and then I'm gonna taste like for salt or whatever I think it needs oh my god I forgot one thing hold on and I'm gonna add that right now thank goodness I just remembered right now all right hold on hold on a minute okay oh my god I can't wait to get my hands on this I am so gonna hook this up making sure everything is blended together that's why I'm bending like I'm doing this making sure everything is mixed up well all right one more thing hold on And last but not least, <laughs> add this. And this is chicken powder, okay? If you have the cube one, add the cube one. This is gonna add a more chicken taste to this as well as with the chicken. So please add this. And I'm gonna add the whole thing. That's why I haven't really added like no salt to this because this got salt, the adobo got salt, the sazon has salt, so I don't think I'm probably gonna be able to add no salt to this. But let's see. You never know. Alright. Oh my goodness. I would love to really taste it now, but I don't wanna do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this cook for like five minutes. Let it, you know, combine together and at this point you probably wanna leave it low too. You don't wanna put it too high, like medium low, alright? And I'm going to check this out like in five to seven minutes. I'm going to check my noodles. And then next I think will probably be the platanos next. Yeah, the fried plantains will definitely be next. Because this is almost finished, this dish. Trust me, this is a fast dish to do. It may look like a lot when I show you the plate. But trust me when I say this is a very fast dish to make. Okay, so... Um, while this is doing its thing, I'm going to check the noodles, I'm going to clean up a little bit, and I'll be back. Okay, so let me show you the garlic that we had in the oven. And I'm not going to lie, it, it cooked for 25 minutes. Like I said, my oven is kind of funny. Like, it doesn't, I don't know, the temperature sucks. But, yeah, 25 minutes. To you, it probably be, be 20 minutes. To other people, it might be 15. So, I'm just letting you know this is the color that you're looking for. All right? When you do your, your garlic. And make sure that it's nice and soft. Just like that, like a potato. I had this still warming in the middle of the stove. Like, I always do warm up my food while I wait for the other food to be done. So I'm going to put this back in the middle of the stove um, and we're going to taste the sauce next. So it thickened up a little bit of course and it smells so good. Look at this. Mm -mm. I know that chicken is going to be really soft and broken apart. Oh, look at this. Look at this nice sauce for our spaghetti. Let me taste a little bit of it. Of course. You know what? Let me use another spoon. How do people get bothered when I use the same spoon? Even though it shouldn't matter because this is my family. But I'll just use another spoon. And we're going to taste it. Well, I'm going to taste it. <laughs> O-M-G. You know what? Toss that spoon right over there. Turn this off because there's nothing else I need to add. That's how good it is. I don't got to adjust any flavoring to anything. It tastes perfect. I don't need to add no salt. I don't have to add nothing. Perfect. Just like this. So I am going to drain the noodles because the noodles is done as well. The spaghetti. And then we're going to combine all of this together. Yay! And then once we combine it, of course you got to let it cook for at least another couple minutes to make sure all the noodles and uh and the sauce and everything combine together as well and while that's happening we're gonna be doing our platanos our plantains be right back so i just finished draining out the water and i'm just gonna let it sit there for like at least 
four minutes, making you know just to make sure all the water you know falls out, and then we're gonna combine this together. Okay, so I decided to whip out my bigger, bigger pot because you know you're gonna need a nice size pot you know when you put everything together because with the sauce and the spaghetti of course you know it's gonna it's gonna get bigger so I got my pot here which is pretty big and I'm gonna add my spaghettis all right I'm gonna use my hands real quickly it's not hot yet just to separate the noodles a little bit because it was sitting for a little while and and when you cook noodles, you want to make sure that it's al dente. You don't want to like, you got to taste it too, you know. You don't want it to be too, too soft that you don't want it to taste like straight pasta, like too hard either, you know. So just for you can know, I, I should have told you that, but you know, like I said, I'm doing other things. But you already know. I'm not too sure if I should add all of this together, but you know what? I am going to. If it's a lot of sauce, we'll have a nice saucy spaghetti. That's it. And getting my spoon. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna stir this up one more time. Oh, you gotta taste the sauce. All right, let me carefully put it in there. Oh yes. Look at that. Whew. Now we're gonna put it all together. Let me see if I got that thing for the like the spaghetti. Uh, I got one, but it's a little cheap. <laughs> I'm scared it's gonna bend. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna use something like this to make sure I go in there. Alright? And I got this on medium heat, you know? And it's gonna take me a while to make sure that this stirs up all together. Okay, so I realized that while I was doing this step, I don't know if what point did I get to, but I saw that it said memory full. I'm hoping that you saw me mix this up together. If I didn't, I'll put a little, you know, description in the video. I mean, all you have to do is put this together. I'm gonna mix this up very, very well. Make sure that you have it like on medium heat you're gonna cook this for at least another five minutes together for everything could combine well and i am going to do the platanos which is the pla the plantain next but that's what you want to do i'm gonna mix this up together because it's still like some sauce there some sauce there. you gotta really mix this together to make sure everything is combined well so i am gonna um mix this up again oh my god did i just say that <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be back so I already cleared up my memory card I'm telling you I am going to invest in a, a memory card that has like at least I don't know if they have the 64 gig one but yeah this is only four gigs so every time I do a tutorial Right when I'm about almost finished, I have to really put everything low, run to my computer, put everything into my computer, clear up the the the, the um the memory card, and then redo it again. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a mission. Like no one understands what a person goes through just to bring you guys videos i mean i don't mind because i love doing it for you guys but this is the mission sometimes so i already cleared up the memory card and while i was doing that i was letting this you know i put the top on and i put it on low and let's see how that's going mm, my goodness oh my god i don't know if i should eat a little bit now okay yeah so don't want to move it around too much i just want to see how it's going mm. still gonna you know i think it's done while well, it is done it's already all combined together so um just probably gonna take a little bit just to taste it turn it off and push it to the back i don't want to keep cooking it and make the 
you know, make the noodles. Okay, give me a minute. Sorry you hear the little, whatever you're hearing in the background. My window is open, it's a beautiful day. So, I'm gonna taste this. And then, I wanna taste it with a piece of meat though. Okay. Oh my god, look at how it's just breaking apart. Mm. I'm gonna taste the meat and then I'm gonna taste the sauce. Mm. Oh my god. I'm so happy my son brought this up to me. Mm. I'm gonna taste a little bit more. Look at that. And towards the end, if you want to like add Parmesan cheese, mozzarella, you know, do your thing. I'm not going to add none of those because I think I got mozzarella cheese and I'm going to add it to my garlic bread. So, that's what I'm going to use my, my mozzarella cheese for. But, I'm going to taste this. Very hot. Mm. Oh my god. It is so juicy and so flavorful. It's like I'm tasting everything that I just added in there. Everything. It tastes so, so good. Please, please, please try this at home. And I'm going to put the top back. And I'm gonna push it to the back. And we're gonna start the platanos next. Okay, so the spaghetti is done. And we're about to do the fried plantains. Um, to start it off, you need some plantains like this. And I have three of them. They have to be green. Not the yellow ones with the black stripes. Those are sweet. Those are called platano maduros. All right, those are sweet plantains. You want this one. All right, and we're gonna make a delicious garlic sauce with this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put everything in this video for you can make this whole complete dish for your family. So I have three of them here, and I'm gonna cut off the tip. Some people cut two lines. I like to cut three. Not all the way. Just make sure that it's like this, because you need to make sure that the skin come out. That's three. We'll do this one. Whoa. See this? No bueno. Keep cutting. Now. Okay. <laughs> Good that that happened. For that way you could get an idea what to do in a situation like that. Okay. That's two. There you go. That's three. I don't know if y'all ever ate fried plantains with like eggs in the morning, sunny side eggs. Oh, you must try that. I'm telling you. It's like you have like fr like fried eggs with like french fries and you know you dip the french fries into your yolk. Oh my God, try it with fried plantains. I'm telling you, it is so yummy. And I don't do it all the time because you know, fried platanos, fried plantains, you know, it's, it's fattening. <laughs> uh, you can't make this all the time because, yeah, <laughs> you know, you will gain a lot of weight <laughs> if you eat this like almost every day. So I try to at least make this at least once a week or maybe once every two weeks. So um, we got our platanos here. Um, some people just do it themselves and they'll just peel it off themselves. Like, let me get a knife. Hold on. Oops. Okay. Well, they'll just do it themselves. Like, some people even do it with their spoon. All right, and you can peel it off yourself. And I mean, I could continue this way, but you know, sometimes it does tend to get a little stuck, you know, and you gotta still like with a knife go over it and fix it up. So I'm, I like to put this in hot water for like at least a minute, you know, just to make sure it peels off 
smoothly. So I'm going to do that, which I'm going to show you real quick. A little bit of the edge. Look this guy. And I'm going to put it in hot water. Try to rotate all the platano, you know. That's just to show you right there. And I'm going to make sure that for a minute it's in hot water so the skin could come out with no problem. I don't have to have a little struggle with it. And we'll be back. Okay, so I did two with no problem. And I'm going to do the third one. It could be a little hot, but it's okay. And you see how it just opens up just a little bit when you are, when you have it in hot water, which allows you to peel it off even faster. And let me just show you real quickly. And it comes out like nothing. And there you go. No struggle, no nothing. Excuse the noise. I don't know what the hell is that. <laughs> Um, yeah, my window is open because it's a beautiful day today. And that's the way it is. And then we are going to cut this up. Um, it depends how big you want your, your platanos. I like mine nice and big. So I cut them this size. Let me just cut this one quickly. All right. I like mine about this big. Okay? Like that. I'm gonna do the rest. Okay, and when that's done, you wanna put it in a pot. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I've been cooking all day and I have pots right next to me. And I'm not trying to look for no pots right now. So I just used this for a um, spaghetti recipe. It's clean because I clean up all the time while I'm cooking. And this is what I'm going to use. This is the closest thing to me because I'm trying to finish this tutorial. And I'm going to put all of my platanos. Just put it in a bowl, you know, enough that, you know, you could cover it up with water. So I have it here, which is <laughs> retarded. But hey, who cares? As long as it tastes good. It don't make a difference about the pot. And you want to put this with more cold water but make sure it's kind of lukewarm you know like not warm but you don't want it too cold either you know and i'm gonna add water and make sure it covers your platano your plantain all right and then you want to add some salt to your water okay and I'm gonna go this is the way I do it I, I go twice one two all right and that's just to sort your water and mix it up in there make sure all that salt is together I'm gonna taste the salt a little bit I'm gonna add a little bit more salt it should be a little salty don't worry it's not it is when you cook it it's not gonna taste salty it's just gonna bring out the flavor of the plantain okay okay i know i said twice but i guess since this is a different pot <laughs> all right and let's do it again you want to taste the water a little bit make sure it's, you know the water is a little salty got a little flavor and all right perfect and what I'm gonna do is don't cook your platanos right away. Don't cook your fried, don't cook your plantains right away as soon as you do this. The purpose of you putting it in salted water is for it could, you know, get a little salty, you know, your plantains. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put it aside and wait at least like 10, 15 minutes, you know, to sit in this water before you fry them basically. So while I, so while this is put aside, you know, and you know, doing this thing. What I'm gonna do is the garlic sauce, uh, the, the the garlic sauce, and we're gonna do that next. All right, while this is sitting in water, be right back. So now we're ready to do the garlic sauce. It depends how much sauce or how much garlic you like in your platanos. 
we like a lot <laughs> like we could drain ours with garlic sauce so i'm just showing you how we do it in my house um so this is fresh peeled garlic if you have like the the whole head of garlic you know use that but this is works easier for me i don't have to peel nothing i don't have to do the extra work so i'm gonna take some garlic out and i'm just showing it to you i'm trying to get the big ones i'm not trying to get the little baby ones you know that way i don't have to use so much and yeah i'm gonna use about that much mm. okay one more why not <laughs> okay sorry <laughs> give me a minute yeah so you count and you decide if that works for your family um, this comes with like a little, um, let me use another knife. Wait, hold on. Let me just rinse it out a little bit because I used this to cut the platanos, but it's okay. I could use it. Um, it comes with like a little tip like this, and that's a no-no when you make your garlic sauce. So you want to take it out like this, like so. I'm right close to the, um, to the sink, so I just put it aside. That's the good thing about having my counter next to the sink. But I don't have no counter. This is the only counter I have. So I'm going to do that with all of them. And oopsie daisy. Hold on. And there you go. And I know this is a long video, but I'm showing you everything. Um, then from this point, where's my bag? Okay, give me a minute. This is the way I do it. You could either smash it with a pestle, which I had one, and now it's forever gone. Or, um, do it the way I'm doing it. <laughs> with a bag. And I got a Ziploc bag right here. And like I said, I always work with what I got. And it's not gonna stop me from eating my platanos. So you wanna do this. That's the way I do it. That's only for the people that don't have a pestle, which is one of those things that is like that and comes with like a little stick and you just smash it like that. It's pilon in Spanish. And I have a meat tenderizer, you know, one of those things to, you know, to smash or like tenderize your meat. And that's how I do mine and that's how I'm going to do it. Don't worry, I'll fast forward this part, okay? I'm basically done now you want to smash it if you want it like a more like pasty or paste like garlic sauce keep smashing it we like it like in little chunks like this okay kind of like this okay this one came out of the bag sorry wait a minute I leave it there like this okay now I'm gonna get a dish for this um, yeah I just washed this one oh my good tell me what I got a lot of clean dishes aside that I gotta put away I'm gonna put that in there why not <laughs> and let me put that there this is what you want to do next Shake up the bag a little bit for it to fall out in the floor. Not on the floor, in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you, my English be crazy. All right, and there you go. And I'm gonna throw the rest away because it's not really much in there. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I like to, this is the way I do mine, you must use extra virgin olive oil. I wouldn't suggest that you use like corn oil or like that kind of oils is not really good. You know, this is going to be drenched in oil. So you want to use a more healthier oil, which is extra virgin olive oil. So you want to use that. So this is how I do mine. I wish I could give you measurements, but watch what I'm doing. 
okay just look at how it looks and I try to make the oil go just a little little bit above the level of the of the garlic that I have okay so once you see that it's filling up at what it depends how much garlic you make if it starts filling up at the level of the garlic that you have that's good right there you don't want to make it like let's say put it all the way to the top it makes no sense so just to show you more clearer see it's a little bit above the oil that's what you want to do and then you want to white vinegar use white vinegar this just add a little pow to it you know I know some people that they just add extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and that's it. Add the extra, add the white vinegar. Trust me, it does make a bit of difference. And just add a little bit, like, if you leave it up to me, maybe like two to three capfuls of this, all right? May, try two first, okay? It should be like a little, like, that you could taste a little bit of the vinegar. But not too much of it either, you know? Alright, and I'm going to also taste it too. I know it sounds weird, but I got to taste everything, so. That's why you don't want to also add a lot of extra virgin olive oil because you're going to also add the white vinegar, you know? I'm not going to taste it now. Give me a minute. Let me put this a little closer so you could like, get a little closer look. There you go. I mean, I know it's the, not the best quality. Trust me, I'm going to work on getting a camera, a good camera. <laughs> okay, so now you want to add salt. So let me get a spoon for I can measure this up the right way. I don't want to, you know, I'm going to try to cover the spoon up with some salt. Like about this much. To you, it may look like a lot, but I'm going to be honest with you. Some people, when they take out their platanos or their fried plantains, they salt it. They salt it right after. I don't, because the salt is already inside the water and is already making my fried plantains have a nice, great flavor to it. And I also add salt to this, and that's all the salt that I need. So I do that with like a, a spoon. Just cover it up. Don't make it like a mountain. Just cover up the spoon. You know, just like go like zigzag if you can. Alright, I'm just trying to explain it the best way I can here. And the pepper, you can add as, as little or as much as you want, so. And that's how much I added. Now, let's do this. I have another video of fried plantains, but it's a little different. And it's a little, not complicated, but it's got more to it. Check it out though, it's a good video. I have a lot of views on that video. And I got a lot of people likes it and a lot of people made it and said that it tasted really good. This is just a simple, a simpler way to make it, you know? And a lot of people wanted me to make it the simple way, so that's why I'm doing it. Okay. Mmm. Just like that. Perfect. I'm telling you. I, I can't describe how it is. You could taste a little bit of the vinegar, but not that much. You could still taste the extra virgin olive oil. And on top of that, it's not too salty, but it has a, you could tell it has a little salt, you know, to bring out the garlic and everything else in it. So just perfect, just like that. So follow the way I did it, and I guarantee you, you've got some nice garlic sauce. So what we're going to do now is push this aside, and we're going to start frying the platanos next. Okay, so I know the water is on and sometimes that interacts with how you hearing me, but I have to have it on. Um, oops, I got here some salad, some lettuce, and I got here great tomatoes right here. And I got here red onions. I love red onions in my salad. And I got my own salad dressing that I made myself, but I can, you know, this was already pre-made from, you know, I usually make it and then I put in this tube thing and I put it in the refrigerator. A lot of people have been asking me for this um, vinaigrette. I am going to make a video on it. I promise you, just give me time. <laughs> so either you could use that or like I said, 
I got here some salad dressing. You whatever salad dressing. You got French. You got ranch. You got um thousand whatever it's called thousand dressing. Add that. And also with this, I'm going to add. I got two bacon that I put in the oven. It's already cooled down. I'm gonna add bacon to my salad today. Oh yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna go all out. So. I'm only gonna do half of this lettuce for the simple fact that my kids really don't like lettuce. Um, my older son, probably. My older son likes it. My boyfriend likes it. And I like to take the, the edge, the first edge out. I don't know, call me weird. And, and I'm also gonna give some to my boyfriend's friend, which he's waiting for me. <laughs> And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to stay with this. Put this back in the bag. I hope you guys can hear me with the running water. Put this aside. I'm not going to put it all fancy. I'll do it in a minute. And take out the tip because for some reason it was still there. I didn't wash this and that's why I have the water running here. Because with uh, one of these... I like to clean my salad, so I'm going to do that. And that's my salad. I'm going to add that there for it could, it could rinse off. You know, just to be precaution. You never know. I know they probably wash it wherever farm it came from. <laughs> but I like to be sure, you know. And... I was going to add corn to this, but I'm like, nah, it's already going to have a lot of detailing on my plate. So, I, I, you know, I'm not going to do that. But if you want to add, like, corn, add corn. Add whatever you want to your salad, really. <laughs> it's your salad. Add whatever you want. I'm sorry, I'm just going over it again, you know. Oh, this water is so cold. I don't know. Okay. Whew. There you go. Right, I'm going to push that to the side because i got to also rinse out my grapes, my grape tomatoes. Now, I was going to cut these in halves, but I'm not going to do that because these are the small ones. If it was a little big, it was the cherry one, I would have done it. I would have cut it in half, but I'm not going to do that. So, and we don't eat a lot of tomatoes either, I mean, uh, um, cherry tomatoes either. My boyfriend and me and, and probably his friends, so that's how much I'm taking out, like, for us. Okay, maybe two more. I'm like, maybe two more. I always say I'm going to do a certain amount and then I end up making more. You never know who comes and pop up in your house or whatever, you know? It's good to have extra in case somebody pops up and you're making dinner, you can serve them a plate of food. Well, at least that's how I do it. <laughs> and I'm going to add that here. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to do the um, the um, onions. Now, you see this? Don't worry. I'm not going to add that, all right? And we're going to take out the skin. Sorry this video is long. I mean, I know I keep saying that. And I don't, I shouldn't be worrying about what other people think. But I don't know how people feel about this video being so long. But you have to understand that, like, I'm just trying to show you everything from the beginning to the end. This is a complete meal. A complete meal. And this is how it is. And I took out, you see that little thing in the back that was looking all ugly. And I like to cut it really, really thin. So be careful with your fingers. Last semester when I was going for culinary arts, which I plan to go next semester, I just took a semester off for, you know, for, for personal reasons. That's one thing the chef always used to love the way I used to um, cut everything. And I used to always have like 
like in my group all the time they always had me chopping everything because they used to like the way i used to chop everything okay let me not even tell you stories but yeah this is how i did it i like to do it nice and thin for you don't have to like take that onion tape but you taste it in there that's what you want to do okay so um oh let me turn off the water i don't need to have the water on and so let me put this there i'm gonna break it apart while i'm you know yeah there you go and now i'm gonna do hold on And I got here two bacons. Now it ain't it ain't no rocket science, you know, to do this. All you have to do is either fry your bacon, but I prefer to put mine in the oven. You put it in the oven, and I will guarantee you'll have the best, crispiest bacon in the world. <laughs> so do it in the oven, okay, for at least like 15, 20 minutes, okay? Okay, I'm sorry, the memory card ran out again. So anyway, yeah, so this is how it is. This is my salad, and we're gonna do the garlic bread next. Okay, so like I expected, my camera died. So I already buttered this up, as you can see. Okay, this is my son, Jeremiah. Say hi, Jeremiah. Hey. Okay, so let's put the cheese on top of this, baby. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got food in my tummy. Oh. <laughs> as little or as much as you want. It's your kitchen. Do what you want. It looks really yummy though. If you melt it, I don't even like some. My son is a little sick, so if you don't really understand him, you already know, okay? Yeah. I know. It is okay. He'll get better. Well, I want to. Can I say it? Um, I went yeah. to the doctors. Yeah, he, we went to the doctors earlier. Yeah, so, it's in the morning. Yep. I'm telling you, I had a busy day, and look what I'm doing for you guys. You don't get any better than that. See how much I love my subscribers? Well, That's how come if you're watching this video for the first time, subscribe to me. You're well, not going to regret it. Well, I am loyal. Well, today I have to just, can I say it? Hmm? I hmm? have to stay home today. Yeah, he stood home today from school. Well... Tomorrow, I'm gonna and he might have to stay again tomorrow too. And Thursday, I got an appointment. And Thursday, he got a doctor's appointment. So he ain't gonna go to school till Friday. But don't worry, I got doctor's letters and everything. So, don't worry. um, so yeah. So now after this, I'm gonna also add a hey, little Mom, bit of parsley. My birthday is almost coming. Yeah, right? his it's birthday is on um, next week. Is it next week? Yeah. No, this the week. The thirtieth. Yeah, this week, right? Yep. Well, it's our six days. Yeah. And we got to plan something for him, but only me and him is going to talk about that. Not on camera. Okay, so look at that baby right there. And I'm going to put this in the oven at 350, 400. Remember, you don't want to leave this a long time. You just want to make sure it just melts a little bit, maybe crisp up a little bit in the edges, and you're good to go. So um, we'll be right back, and I'm going to finish up the plantings. Yeah, we'll be right back. So, I'm going to try to record this with one hand. Oh, my my other um, camera, um, the battery died. First it was a memory card, now it's the battery stuff, I tell you. <laughs> so, I sprinkled a little bit of water because like I said, I had it on real, real low just to, you know, get it pumping. While I was doing the garlic bread and the salad, um, I did, now I put it a little high, I put it on medium, okay, since I'm going to start frying them now, but at least I don't have to wait for it to get hot because it was already low, and we're going to start doing this. I'm going to let it fry and then I'm going to show you more or less what color and texture you want it for when you come out. Please put this on medium heat, okay? If you put it too, too high, I'm not going to lie, it's going to cook on the outside, but when you smash them, it's going to be raw on the inside, you know? So you don't want to do that either. 
So I'm looking at the time and I'm gonna let you know more or less how many minutes I had it fry so you could get a, like a more or less know how long you gotta fry, okay? So I'll be back. So this is the plantains. I've had it here for like five, six minutes. And this is the color that you want it. That's all right, you can go ahead and do it. Um, I'm gonna put it in a plate instead of doing it in the paper towel because I'm gonna do that for the second fry. So I'm gonna put it in this bowl. All right. I'm gonna show you two ways you could do it, okay? And I don't smash them right away either. It's too, too hot. I wait like at least a minute. A minute or two maybe let it cool down just a little bit so we have it here and I'm gonna show you what to do with it in a minute or two all right um pardon the mess because like I said I've been cooking all day on top of that I'm almost, I'm almost finished giving my friend food I use this plate you see yeah clear it up a little bit this is what I'm gonna give my boyfriend's friend food and I'm gonna add the platanos in the side um, I bought these little plastic from the Dollar Tree store and it has um, salad dressing and garlic. And guys, That's right, people better love me over here. Sorry, sorry about the music over there. It's just something. Yeah, my son. <laughs> All right, so this, wait a minute, hold on. Let me finish this up quick because he wants his food. So there, I'm not gonna show all of them. I'll show you all of it, how I'm doing, how I'm gonna smash them, but I'm gonna show you two ways that you could. Now, I have one of these. You put the plantains and you squash it, okay? So I'm gonna break it apart because I do nice differently, I know. <laughs> I really wish I wanted to do that one day. Okay, you'll do it one day, but for now, look. And. Hello, Pina Chef. Look at that. Clear it up. That's mm -hmm. the way you do it. Look at that, how beautiful that is. All right, or you could, you don't have something like this? Well, you could do it with a paper bag and use your hands and smash it. Or you could use a plate, which I'm going to show you. This is a big plate, I know. But I'm just trying to rush here. And this hope. And there you go. But it just turns to a different one. Yeah. And look. Same concept. All right? But it's just different because... The other one, one just got more ridges and it just looks... It's just, it got holes like a pancake. Oh my god, I'm so sorry my son is interrupting. But yeah, so um I'm gonna finish the rest for I could also add some plantains to my um to my boyfriend's friend plate. Alright, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you the final final plate. Alright? We'll be back. Okay, so here I have some frying, because I wanna do these real quick for I could just hurry up and send um you know this man some food. And I still got some here, but I'll do it in a minute. But I'm gonna do this first, and um, I'm not gonna try to move it all, like move it around too much, you know. And we're not gonna take too long doing this part, like maybe three minutes, because they're very cooked. You're just gonna crisp them up outside. All right. So um, yeah, let's just see how this is going. Don't move it too much, you know. Look at how beautiful these are. Look at it. Look at it. And this is the one without the ridge, the one that, you know, like without the ridges and stuff that I just did right now, okay? With, with the plate. That's another way you could do it, all right? There's always ways that when you don't have something in your kitchen that you could do it yourself. I always work with what I got. You see this right here? I've had this for years. Oh my God, I would die if I lose it because I still cannot find another one like it. And I, it just makes my pancakes look so pretty. Where did I got it from? I went, you know, I, when I was living in the Bronx, I bought it in a supermarket. I can't recall what supermarket it was, but they had it in the supermarket where they had like a section for pots and pans, and that's where I got it from. I cannot tell you where I got this from, but it's called a tostonera, and I will put the name with this video in case you want a Google search, and you can buy it on your own and make your own plantains and home. All right, so. Just to let you know, I always give details in my videos. So, yep. Oh my God, with the garlic, oh my Lord. I know my, my boyfriend's friend is gonna be so happy. He's a much older man, so, like I like to cook food for him, you know, he don't have no one to cook food for him. And, you know, it's just good sometimes to do a good gesture for people. That's just the way I am. 
So, just making sure everything flows. I'm gonna leave it here another one more minute longer, then I'm gonna take it out. And then I'm gonna show you how it looks with the with the with the garlic sauce and everything, all right? All right, so nice and golden. Look at how crispy. You can feel it in your spoon that it's crispy. All right, so I'm gonna take these out. Let a paper dry a little bit. You know, make sure all the access for you is removed. Yeah. I'm gonna continue these and then I'll show you everything. Still continuing with this video. I hope you're enjoying it so far and not getting too hungry. <laughs> Be right back. And these are my platanos. Nice, crispy with a little bit of the garlic sauce as you can see and some people they put ketchup in their you know totones I do it too sometimes I put the garlic sauce and a little bit of ketchup on top put that extra kick into it yep and this is it and now to do the garlic sauce let me see if I can have my son hold it real quick in case you don't know how what I'm talking about um, come over here real quick all right. Got it. Okay, right there. Right there. And I'm gonna take one just to, you know, just to taste it in front of you guys. And I'm not gonna add no ketchup though. All right. And I'm gonna taste it right in front of you guys. Mm. Yum, yum. Look at that perfect bite. <laughs> My stomach is laughing at me. Mm. Let me take another one. Just to reassure you that it tastes really good. Mm. Alright, I'll hold it from here. Alright, so you guys finally got it. The plantains with the regular sauce, garlic sauce. There will be one link, you know, below in this video. Just check below. And um, that's to my other fried plantains that I made, but it's a little different. It's almost the same, but a little different, the sauce. Check that video out too, because you're going to like that one too, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um... I'm gonna no, you know what? I'm not even gonna say that part right now and make it seem like it's the end. I'm gonna show you how I combine these fried plantains with, all right? For in case you're interested in the in in what I made in that plate, is in another video. So um I'll be right back with just one more small clip coming up next. And here it is. This is done. Which by the way, I'm about to assemble everything right now. I know I keep saying that in every clip, but <laughs> This is a big, you know, meal. And this is how it looks. Oh, it tastes so good. I taste a little bit of the other one. You don't have no idea. Please do the, the little trick with the with the garlic. Put it in the oven. It, it just has such a sweeter taste with the garlic. It's just so good. So I'm going to cut this into pieces and um, finish frying my plantains. And I should be able to put this in a plate nicely. Mm-mm. Look at that. Nice spaghetti con pollo. Spaghetti with chicken. Yummy. Okay, so the food is finally done. Finally. And I'm, my apologies if this video is very long. But you got to see everything in this plate. Everything. I, I didn't just show you one thing and then it was combined with other things. That's not the way I did it. So I have here my salad which I'm going to add my salad dressing when I'm ready to eat. And I have here my nice spaghetti with chicken. 
nice. Just want you to take a picture of every angle. And that is so good. That right there, mm, make it for your family as soon as possible. Um, my nice garlic bread. A nice roasted garlic and cheese. And my fried plantains. And I put the garlic on top as you can see. You don't even need to add salt because like I said, the salt is in the garlic sauce, alright? And this is it. That's the complete dish. So, whew, I am tired. I've been in this kitchen. I went with my son to, you know, an appointment because he's sick. I got to clean this big mess because of this dish. So, I'm really going to call it a wrap real quick. I hope that you enjoyed this long video. I'm sorry it's long, but like I said, this is the video on everything that you see here. This is not a type of video that you will probably want to just see one, two, three if you're checking for something to make for dinner that same day this is something that you need to watch relax watch it and then make it maybe the next day or something like that um so i hope that you did enjoy this video and i hope you do make it if you do make it let me know how it turned out take care god bless and have a good evening